Well, welcome to the next edition of the Buyer's Guide. In this edition, we're gonna be looking at some brand new additives, some new baits from Van den Eind, and these are fresh, hot off the press for 2020. Whilst Van der Neind are launching quite a few new ground baits for this year, they have also released a range of additives. I get asked a lot about additives. You know, a lot of people like to use them to give their own mix or their own ground bait or their own bait its own special kick. And lots of people have obviously got their own um, their own favourites, the ones that they've caught plenty of fish on and the ones that they're confident in. This new range is going to allow you to um, tweak and tailor make some of your mixes um, and so I just thought this would be an interesting opportunity for you to see these products before they actually hit the shelves. Now one of the additives is sinking crumb. Now this is something that you've probably seen around um, this type of bait anyway and it's just something that you can add to you mainly you're adding it to your ground bait to give the fish something to kind of graze over. Little flecks of, of feed that's a different colour that stands out from the rest of the mix and it's something that you can add to your ground bait as much or as little as you like. Now these particular ones, these are new in the range and they are, as you can see, green. Referred to as sinking crumbs. Green is a very um, favoured colour in fishing baits these days and I'm sure these are going to be a very interesting addition to the range. But before we have a look at them in the water and see what they perform like, let's have a quick look at what the company says about them, about their launch and what they're all about. Well this is the official literature, the trade literature from uh, Van der Neind, Sinking Crumbs Green. It's exactly the same crumb as they've had before, except it's in a green version. So it's exactly the same sort of crumb as what's in the range now, but this is obviously green. So let's have a look at the packaging. Very well branded, as always, um, with Van der Neind. Um, it's got obviously the logo and everything on there. It's got some silver fish on there, which is interesting because um, usually the people that I know that use this sort of a mix, it's really targeting bigger fish like bream and carp. So um, sinking crumb clearly marked and green with the colour marked on there. 500 gram bags. Okay, we'll just flip it over. I don't know if there's going to be any more information on the back of here for us. It looks like it's all just the usual. It's not fit or not suitable for human consumption. And I don't know if we've got any English print on here. Um, no, it doesn't look like it on this particular bag. It has actually got a date there, an expiry or a shelf life date, which is great, which is the 24th of September 2022. So plenty of shelf life on it. But it's an interesting thing because I've used things like this before in ground baits when we've been fishing for bream, just to give you mix a little bit of a boost to put some flecks of different colour in it. So initially what I will do is give you an idea because what you won't be able to get is an idea of what the size of some of these are. They really are quite large, some of the pieces. I'll put the tape measure next to it for you. That will just give you a bit of an idea. So you can see what size these uh, these crumbs are. There are obviously smaller ones in there, but on initial, um, on initially looking at these, I thought or would have thought that they would float. I thought they would need sinking. So let's stick some in the tank and find out if that's the case. Well, let's just chuck some in the tank and uh, let's see what happens sink. There's the odd one that's floating but I bet that's just because it's in the, the tension of the water just like with dry pellets when they float yeah all sank there we go you can see it from the side so there you go they were all sank straight away and I haven't trekked them in any way I haven't soaked them before and they are as you've just seen straight out of the bag. Now one thing I didn't know about these is whether there was any sort of flavour or uh, odour coming off them I'll be absolutely honest with you I can I, I can't smell anything. Okay, I can't smell anything. So to me, they are just all about the size of the flex or size of the crumb and the actual colour itself. Now they've only just gone in the tank, as you've just seen. They've sank straight away. But I was curious to see what they would be like once they'd been in the water for quite a while. Okay, so what I did was two hours ago, I actually popped some in water, and there we go. As you can see, they're all still intact. And if I flick some, some fresh ones over the top for you, straight on top amongst them, you can see that they haven't, it hasn't increased 
in size okay they've gone lighter in color as you can see so the lighter ones are the ones that have been in there for two hours in the water the darker ones are the ones I've just put in and to be honest looking at that now I would say that there is a slight change in uh, in size now we're looking at it closely I'd say that the ones that have been in there two hours do look slightly larger and they are paler so when you're putting that in your ground bait that is obviously something to think about you know the longer this is in your swim assuming it's not getting eaten um, it's, it's getting lighter so that was interesting they've been there two hours um, and I'll keep them soaking just to see if they change now the next new additive is one that really got me intrigued I really wanted to know a little bit about this one I'd not seen it before and that's the M secret okay some nice little additive packaging as you can see uh, and I was dying to know what the M was all about and why it was a secret okay so let's have a quick look what they've got to say about it in the literature well, there we go, the company Marcel van der Neind have one hugely popular additive, our Bream Caramel. I'm sure lots of you know about Bream Caramel, or a lot of people refer to it as Brasm here in the UK, but the Bream Caramel is one that, it was introduced to me really by Richard Vaughan, he uses it a lot and he's fished in Holland quite a lot for years and years and years, and that is a key additive, certainly when you're targeting Bream. So that we, you know, it goes without saying that that's a hugely popular additive already, that already exists in the range. Marcel, in his time, had it made especially for him. Now the grandchildren have, based on his knowledge and experience, created a new additive type, but with Marcel, his secret ingredient. We have therefore chosen to name it M Secret. So that's where the M comes from. It refers to Marcel's secret bait that he used to be using in, in, his, uh, in his matches. Uh, the new additive is a stimulating additive and that will make your bait enormously tasty and ensure its effect. Now, it's an additive and that's why obviously it comes in a small bag. Let's have a quick look at the packaging. 250 gram bag, okay, it's very, very fine. Obviously the packaging's got a window so you can see the color of it. That looks very, very fine. Feels a little bit coarse through the bag, to be fair. Now, I don't think we're gonna get any more, um, any more English instructions on here, but the additives don't. We have got a date on there. The first, if that just goes in focus for you, first of the 10th, 2022. Okay, so let's open this up and have a look, see what it's like. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a really, it's a really sweet smell. It's, it's different from the caramel, as you'd expect, but it is sweet, but it's kind of more, it's a little bit fruitier if that's the right term to use. It's definitely fruitier. Um, almost strawberry, almost strawberry. I don't know, that's what's springing to mind anyway, but it's really, really fine as you can see. Let's tip some into a bowl and have a look at it closely. It's not really gonna do it justice mixing this on its own because again, like I say, it is an additive. But if I do this, at least it'll let you have a look at it. As you can see, you can see the color of it now. It's really fine really fine I mean that should mix into any ground bait mix all right that but like I say it's a light color as well but yeah it's definitely fruitier strawberry kind of sort of flavor coming off it let's add a bit of water to it let's just see what happens like I said this is an additive so it's not meant to be it's not meant to be mixed on its own well that's not what it's designed for that's kicked off loads of flavor It really is nice that, really nice. So yeah, if you're after a, um, a fruitier, sweeter kind of additive to your ground bait, then something like this will give it that. So, you know, you might have a mix that you're already happy with, the color might be right, the feed might be right, and that sort of thing, but you want to give it a different flavor as opposed to change the color of the mix or the feed level. This is going to give it that extra kind of uh, smells a little bit of biscuit in there as well coming off that now it's smelling more more like a digestive a sweet digestive biscuit if there is such a thing but yeah it's um, it's an interesting additive I mean if it's anywhere near as good and as effective and as popular as the caramel then uh, I'm pretty sure they're onto a winner with this one so yeah M secret definitely the interesting one that I'm looking forward to trying this year and the final additives in this new launch are liquids, liquid boosters, okay? As the name suggests, you can probably guess what they're all about. But let's have a quick look what the literature says about them. The name liquid booster says it all. Boosting your bait and taste and flavor. 
we have used different ingredients to create a tasty product that can be used for ground bait, pellets and particles. So these are liquid additives that you can add, you can put them onto your pellets, if you're soaking pellets, you can add them into the water, or you can add them straight into your, into your ground bait mix as well. You can use them as glugs, but there they are. Really nice distinctive packaging, as always, as you'd expect. These are 250 milliliter tubs. Okay, so let's just open the top so you can see what the, uh, how you can actually get to the liquids. Twist, it's a twist cap on it's a straight pourer so there's no sort of um, nozzles or anything like that it's just straight into the mix now this one the four in the range what we've got we've got chicken which intrigued me I've got to admit I did a little bit of research on that um, black currant flavor we've got some chocolate and then we've got scopex okay so there's pretty much something for everything there um, these kind of liquids as you can imagine you can add to any of your baits I'll tip them in the tank in a minute, we can see how they perform, whether they kind of disperse in the water or whether they just go to the bottom as a glug. Now, just these flavours, I've got to tell you, I mean the black currant one is as you'd expect. It's black currant, black currant is black currant. And it's very strong black currant. I'll tell you what exactly what that smells like. Have you ever had black currant um, cordial? That, exact, that's what that smells like before you put any water in with it. Alright, so it's the cordial on its own, so that is a really strong, thick, black currant flavor that one okay next one we've got we've got the chicken now this is not something I've ever used I've never used anything that's been chicken flavor did a bit of research on the internet and it's quite a popular bait a lot of sea anglers use chicken the actual raw form chicken um, chicken meat um, but I understand that there are a lot of other anglers that use it for um, fishing for catfish and um, certainly sea fishing like we said but I know there are some aspects where people have used it for carp fishing as well so that was new to me but I did a bit of research on it and I was surprised how how many people do actually use chicken <laughs> as the name suggests it smells very much like chicken but it's very much like roast chicken okay roast chicken flavored crisps all right, that is exactly what that smells like. It's roasted chicken, okay. Scopex, a lot of people are gonna be familiar with Scopex anyway. Twist cap again. That's not as strong as I expected. Now, compared to some of the Scopex um, additives and boosters that are out there, I have smelt stronger and I have used stronger than that, but that is, it is Scopex, it's what you know it as. Okay, so that's the Scopex, and then the last one here is chocolate. Not something that I've used a lot of, this particular additive. I've used ground baits that smell a bit like chocolate, but I've never used the additive on its own. And this is, it's chocolate, it's not, um, it's not Cadbury's, it's not a Milky Way, it's, it's Belgium chocolate. Okay, so it's not a dark chocolate smell, it's like a Belgium, Belgium chocolate, and considering where these come from, that it probably explains that then. Let's have a look at them in the tank so you can see what colour they are and whether they actually, you know, kind of dissolve or whether they just go down as a glug. So the first one is chocolate. Let's have a look what that's like when you uh, when you put it in the tank. I'll just dribble it in. Well, that's really there's hardly any colour there, if anything. Wow, I didn't expect that. So that's completely dispersed. Not that's not left anything. It's just kind of dissolved. Looking at the surface of the water, it's got that kind of, um, you know, like a um, if you put olive oil or like a, a cooking oil, just that fit, thin film. There's a little bit of a film on there, but as you can see, I've left that camera running. It's just disintegrated, gone. All right, so there's no colour there. It's just all about the flavour. Now the next one is Scopex. Let's do the same with Scopex. Same place. That's much clearer that, and that's gone again. Exactly the same. Okay, so that was a clear liquid in its clear form, completely dispersed. As you can see, there's nothing in the tank there now. We've got the black currant up next. Let's have a look at the black currant. Fantastic, strong black currant smell. Now that's a bit cloudier, and that's virtually gone as well now. So again, that's the same. There was a little bit more color to that in its liquid form as it went in, but as you can see, it's just completely dispersed. And the final one, the chicken. I think if there was ever one that was gonna have some sort of residue still there in the water, it'd be this one, but let's try the chicken. Again. So it was dark brown in its liquid form, and as you can see, 
completely dispersed. So these are not additives that you'd use for colour. Not like a glug if you want to give some sort of a cloud or some sort of a target uh, visual feature to your bait, to your, uh, either your pellets, or you could put it on a method feeder, for example, like you do with glugs, but obviously these are not for that. These are all about the flavour. Well, that's been a really interesting insight into these brand new additives for this year. Uh, I'm hoping to get out on the bank very soon using these and I will certainly let you know how I get on when I'm trying them on the bank and let you know um, how I've been getting on with them. I'm sure these may have been available in other countries so if there are any viewers that have used these already then please comment below underneath this video and just let some viewers know um, where you got them from and how you got on using them. Did you catch any fish with them? So hope you've enjoyed this bit of an insight. Don't forget if you want to see the rest of the videos in this series just hit subscribe there. And if you want to see more coaching tuition style videos, um, then you might want to check out my other channel just there, which is Patreon TV. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this bit of an insight, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.